Bye bye, Gretchy. Y'all have a lovely evening. If any bugaboos come give you the trouble, you'll know how to get in touch. Fuck is a bugaboo. <laughs> and here you are, back in town, away from the woods, with no one but Stella and Gretch in sight. Mm -hmm. Perfection. Perfection. Holy shit. Why on earth did you ask them if we could walk back? It seemed a little blasé. Keep an eye. Are they for real? <laughs> it's I'm surprised. surprised. Why did I... Sorry, the, uh... The pterodactyl screeched again. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> um, why did I agree to go to the woods? How are you holding up? Um, that's... Uh, the explore seems very rude. Um... Um, let's go with, um, how are you holding up? How are you holding up? How am I holding up? I mean, not great, but I'm more worried about you. I can't believe they just implied that you're a suspect. Even after we showed them all that footage. Even after we found out that... That nest. But it's okay. I'm not gonna let anything bad happen to you. Nor will I, though I have little understanding of police work. <laughs> Please, though. I will help you. Gaze into my eyes. I have 17 years of professional experience. I think I'd much rather stay the night in her cozy ass house than up in that fucking mansion. You know? <laughs> Look at how pretty it is. I mean, it's not falling apart or hanging yeah, off a cliff. Huh? There's no cracks in the windows. It's it's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like she said, it was built very sturdily. It was. I was there. I filmed the whole thing. At the very least. It'll never hold up in court. And it won't get to that point either, because we're going to do a little investigating of our own. I can see where the lawyer thing would have come in handy, though. <laughs> Saying that we're, uh, we're a lawyer. Yeah, and just being like, um, excuse me, actually. Yeah, it could have been, it could have come in handy. Mm hmm We've got to find out more, find out more about those things if we can get clearer footage, or better yet, trap one of them. There's no way they can blame you for what happened. The library doesn't open for a while, but I've op read every book on cryptids they have and never came across anything like that. I've never heard, seen anything hmm. that goes by this description either. There is someone in town who might have read, have some useful information. Her place isn't far. We should head over now before it gets any later. Let's do it. Sure, let's keep the nightmare going. Check it out. I was just thinking about Tabitha, too. <laughs> um, screw this. I'm out. All right, you want to check in on Tabby? Uh, or do you want to just... Would that mean I... And not go with her? That's the problem. I don't know. Here, I'll, uh... There. I should check in on Tabitha. You should check in on Tabby. My friend's place is on the way back, and stopping by shouldn't <laughs> take too long. <laughs> you sure you don't want to step in first? I know I wouldn't want to head up the mountain road by myself after everything that's happened tonight. When, when you put it like that, yeah. Side resignation. <laughs> sure. Let's do it. Awesome. Let's go. I'm glad you're sticking it out with us. It's always so nice to have an extra companion. <laughs> 
God, I love Gretchen. Look at this cute dog. I hope she's still awake. There's something foul creeping up behind us. Maple. Ooh, whispers again. Jesus! You and Stella turned to see a shadowy figure staring at you from across the road. You didn't hear it approach, but Stella smelt it. And by Stella, I mean Gretchen. Welcome home. Whoever this is, its presence has chilled you to your soul. Before you can respond, the door behind you swings open. An older woman stands in the entryway. Go home, Wayne. I can't help you tonight. You look back and the figure is already gone. Disappeared into the shadows of the night. Is this the that, that friend's mom? That yes. No. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Stella. Some people just can't be helped. What brings you out here so late? And who is this? Hi, Miss Forsyth. This is Maple. Is it okay if we come in? You and Miss Forsyth briefly lock eyes, so blinding it her and overpowering is her aura. That just looking at her feels like staring directly into the sun. Her gaze pierces entirely through you, and in that moment, you feel wholly known. And then the moment passes, and all you see is this woman. Of course, of course. You're in luck. We just put on water for some hibiscus tea. Mmm, hibiscus tea is delicious. And for goodness sake, you can call me Sybil. We need to be civil. Call me Sybil. Of course her name is Sybil. <laughs> You're an adult now, after all. Look at this cute. Tea is life. Tea is life. Yeah. Is that pot leaves? <laughs> Where exactly are we looking? Those ones? Uh, it's just it's just a fern, oh, but nonetheless. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, welcome to my little nook. This place always has the loveliest aromas. It's nice to finally meet you, Mabel. I was so sorry to hear about your mother. Vivian was such a lovely soul, and she's been sorely missed in the hollow. And now poor Perlina's gone as well. Do let me know if there's anything you need while you're in town. You knew my mother? <laughs> Would you like peanuts? <laughs> Who, Who was the fuck that? Wants these peanuts? You know my mom? Did you know that my mama died? I never knew her. How did you know my mother? So that one? Yeah. Okay. Of course, dear. She was a good friend of mine for many years. She was such a lovely woman. You should come by sometime. I can delight you with the unsavory tales of her youth. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Who was that? Did you know she died? How did you know she died? Oh, Perlene was a chatty woman. Not much went on that I wouldn't get an earful of. Oh, bless her heart. Would you like peanuts? <laughs> <laughs> she offered it. You and Stella T, after all, it's only polite to offer something in return. <laughs> oh my, thank you for the kind offer, dear, but I'm afraid it's far too late for me to have something so salty. Who the fuck wants these peanuts? No one. <laughs> <laughs> um, who, who was that outside? Just a very sick man. You don't need to be worried about him. I never met Perlin. <laughs> You don't have to pass on your condolences to me. I have no feelings about the woman. <laughs> That's fair, child, but it seemed like the right thing to do. We need you here. Ah, 
Ah, yes. I suppose pleasantries can wait for another time. What's got you here so late? You seem troubled. You know about weird stuff, right? Unexplainable stuff? I'm not so sure I follow, dear. I know which oils to use for which aches. I know a bit about classical spiritualism. Just what Sorry. sort of unexplainable things are you talking about? Well, Duke was killed tonight by something in the woods. Oh my lord! Have you contacted the police? Yes, and they didn't take it very seriously. They're not even looking for the body until tomorrow. Those things are out there. I don't even know how to describe them. Hmm. I can't say I know much about the local wildlife. My daughter always had a brighter gift for the nature than I. <laughs> this wasn't... This wasn't the local wildlife, Miss Forces. Yeah, I can show you. Stella pulls out a memory card from her sleeve and pops it into her phone. Of course she did. <laughs> yeah, that was the other um, trait that Gab had. It was the the street smarts one. So she, she saw her pull the, the memory card out. Mm. I mean, I assumed as much when she's like, let me just turn it off. Yeah, let me just turn it off. I wasn't just about to let the police hold on to this. At least not before we had a chance to make a copy. Smooth. The cops are gonna be mad. I can't believe you're withholding evidence. It's not like they're waiting until tomorrow morning anyway. Smooth. <laughs> the cops wouldn't know what to do with that footage anyway. Imagine if they accidentally erased it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it to them if they ask again, but for now we can examine the footage for ourselves. Uh. Oh. Where was this? Up in the mountain to the northwest. Oh, the tea is done. Within the town limits? Yes. I see. The tea is ready. Go get the tea! <laughs> is there a way to make the video bigger and louder if you can? The tea! <laughs> I'd need to plug the memory card into a computer. I could go back and get mine. No need. Kanika should be still be awake. She can lend us hers. Kan Kanika? Was he in Kanika? <coughs> You'd better come with Stella. I'm sure she'd be more willing to help a friend than her nosy mother. That, that, that kettle was just screaming. Yeah, it was. We're just like, fuck the tea. <laughs> We're going over here. Kanika, come on now. We could use a little help. What, Mom? Oh. Hey, Stella. Whoopsie. And Gretchen. Who's a good potato? <laughs> Kanika, it's me. I, am I the good potato? I most certainly hope I am. <laughs> I love Gretchen! <laughs> And a stranger. What are you doing in my house? I was invited in. Would you like me? <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm helping Stella with a video and something terrible happened. I just watched a man die. I'm not in the mood to introduce myself. <laughs> um, uh, hi, I'm Maple. Hi, I'm Maple. Tampa's cousin? Yep. Sweetie, we're wondering if you we could borrow your laptop. Stella and her friends have a video to show us. It's really important, Kanika. <sighs> okay. My room's a mess, so I'll just bring it out here. Look at her and her little curls. Love it. Heads up, Kanika. This is graphic. 
Duke got killed in the woods tonight. It's all oh, the recording. Wait, are you serious? Du Duke's dead? We can watch this without you. You know I have a harder stomach than any of our friends. I'm present play. <laughs> Silence washes over the room as the video plays. Stella, what the hell is this? Did you pick up on all the whispering in your video? This is far beyond... <laughs> this is hard, far beyond my ability to contribute. I'll leave the thinking to you humans. I'm sorry either of you had to see this, but Maple, I have no idea how to make heads or tails of it. You like Sailor Moon? <laughs> Stella, are you okay? Did you get hurt? I'm fine, really. I'm okay. I'm fine too. Well, I'm not fine. So. <laughs> I'm fine too, thanks for asking. The other three look at you unsure of what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Duke. Poor Bo. Has anyone told him yet? We talked to the police. I hope they told Bo. But Earl and Deputy Franklin didn't seem to be in too much of a hurry to do anything. I'll call him later tonight. But for now, we have something far more serious to discuss. What happened in the woods? We weren't supposed to see any of that. I agree. More serious than a man's death? I didn't like Duke anyway. I agree, those things are still out there. And as long as they are, more people are in danger. So very true, but not for the reasons you think. These things my grandmother called them ditchlings. They are a terrible omen, a sign of great suffering and destruction to come. Mom, come on. Whatever's doing this is serious. Stop scaring Stella and Maple with all this telepo crap. A man just died. Have some respect. Kanika, sweetie, let your mother talk. The creatures themselves are harmless to people despite that grisly scene in the woods. How can you say that? Duke's dead! An unfortunate accident and nothing more. Just as birds flock before a storm, the ditchlings congregate where tragedy is soon to befall. To see one is to be cursed by fate. To see so many in one place is... She holds a silence. Jesus, Mom, they've clearly had a rough night. They don't need this. It's okay, Kanika. This is helpful. Stella, whatever these things are, they aren't magic. We can't rule that out. Not after what we saw. But fine. Let's focus on what we know. Whatever they are, they're doing something to these animals. You saw that nest. What were those growths? Maybe the ditchlings were here for Duke. Sybil is right about these things. They were clearly warning us. Kanika has a point. Stella, don't buy into the magic. Uh, maybe they're making more of themselves. Whatever it is, it's not good. I think the talk to animals and mystic option. Yeah. Fusion! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming it's because we used a mystic and animal. I have to agree with Sybil. I could clearly hear them telling us that this place is cursed. Yeah, so that was an animal thing. I w okay. So I wonder what it sounded like for Gab, because she didn't have that. I don't know. Mm. And to get out while you still can. Spooky stuff. Maybe it just wasn't there, all the 
whispering. I don't know. Maybe. I do not remember. Wait, are you serious? I couldn't make out anything. It was all just garbled whispering to me. How interesting. Are you sure you're not just subconsciously rewinding your memories to match my mom's theories? You're a skeptic, aren't you? <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Even if we ought to assume for a moment that you and my mom are right, I'd still want to know what they're doing in the woods. Maybe what we're seeing here is some sort of parasitic larval stage. Part of their life cycle. But I don't want to jump to any conclusions about this out there. Not without doing some research or talking to a biologist. I'm sure there's a rational exp explanation to clear all this up. Oh dear! I'd forgotten entirely about the tea! <laughs> Let me go fix up a couple of cups now that all of the water is boiled out of it. <laughs> she looks so upset! <laughs> <laughs> well yeah, tea is life! It, it's been like five minutes! Since that tea was ready. <laughs> I don't know. It's getting kind of late. And I should let Maple get some rest. I ran them ragged today with all the hiking and running through the woods in terror. <laughs> he looks so happy about it. <laughs> She's like, yeah, we've been doing so. I can keep going. I'm still wired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired as shit. All right, so you get this one. Yeah. I c I can stay out. I'm still wired from everything. I'm not tired at all. Ha. Okay. Maybe it's that I'm eager to get home and start doing some research. I'll ask around my usual forums to see if anyone has information on ditchlings. Is that what you call them? That's right. You go on home now and try to get some rest. Don't stay up all night on that online. Let me get you some of my house-made peppermint tea and it'll go really do wonders to soothe the soul. I'm not a fan of peppermint, but okay. <laughs> Bye, still. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? And call me if you need to talk. Thanks, Kanika. I'll be seeing ya. Bye, Maple. It's excellent I still warmed. Though with the nights getting chillier, warm will probably be best. Helps wake up the bones. Be careful out there. Both of you. Wow, that is the most accurate presentation of owning a small dog on a leash. <laughs> <laughs> Sybil turns and closes the door behind her. What an unfortunately short visit. Alrighty, let's get back home. My home, I mean. What about my cousin? I don't know. <laughs> and here we are. You're welcome to stay the night if you want. Can I cuddle? <laughs> I should probably head back. Oh, a conniption. I was like, oh, what? I, I, I should, should probably go head back and check on Tabitha. Hell yeah, sleepover! I, mean, I want the sleepover, though! Ah. I'm terrified of being alone. <laughs> Once again, I save in the same spot. Sleepover? Tabitha? I want to do this sleepover, but I I feel so bad because my cousin has called me so many times and left me text messages. We did text her, so hopefully that's enough. But yes, hell yeah, sleepover. <laughs> hell yeah, sleepover. It's been so long since I've had an honest to God sleepover. Awesome. If I'm being honest, not being alone tonight is a weight off my chest. Slumber party! Yeah, but I'm in the guest room. Fuck. It doesn't take long for Stella to fix up the guest room for you. 
While it's certainly smaller than its counterpart at the estate, it's far better cared for. Sick, let me see why Curtis is texting me again. Damn it, I'm not gonna be sharing that with her. Fuck! <laughs> it's so exciting to have a guest. I can't remember the last time we had company. Make yourself at home. You didn't have to do all this. What do you, what do you make of all this? Who's that guy outside Sybil's? Um. What do you make of all this? Gosh, I don't even know where to begin. Those creatures out there, and Duke is dead. I know that some of, some things Sybil said were a little wild. But if she is right, and they are an omen, maybe we can change things and stop whatever's brought them there before it happens. And maybe it's the falling of the house off the cliff. <laughs> it didn't hurt to poke around town. True. I have the time. Agreed. Who is that guy outside of Simple's? There was something about his presence that chilled me to my soul. I mean, maybe it was the blood on his shirt, you know. Yeah. The fact that we couldn't see his face. Yeah. Wayne? I haven't really gotten to know the guy. I know he works in the mine. Shit, I totally forgot that this is a mine, uh, mining town. Mm-hmm. Well, that makes things click a lot more. Why? What are you thinking? Have you ever heard of Tommyknockers? I've probably heard of it, but I don't know what that is. Um, they're basically like, um, earth spirits. Okay. And they, their, like, defining trait is, like, knocking on, knocking on mi mining caves. And it's a warning to get out because the cave is going to collapse. Mm. Um, it's, it's like folklore for mining specifically. Hmm. If you hear a Tommy knocker, you need to get out because it will lead to tragedy and there's been reports of Tommy knockers all over mining towns on the west coast. So, gotcha. Interesting. So, these could just be like the original name of Tommy knockers because Tommy knockers are said to be tiny like troll-like things. Hmm. They're not necessarily dangerous themselves. So. Hmm. It fits. It fits. It may or may not chip. Like I said, I know a lot of shit about mythology. So. <laughs> That's true. Alright. It might be worth looking into them. They didn't have to do all this. I could have slept in your bed, you silly. Please. <laughs> I'm glad the guest room is finally getting some use. Oh, you don't have I to worry about all that. You don't have to worry about all that. I'm just glad this guest room is finally getting some use. All right, calling. I should probably try calling Tabitha. Right, she'd probably like to know that you're not dead. Get some rest, Maple. I'll see you in the morning. I'm on the verge of passing out myself. What an exciting, if terrible, day. I love Gretchen so much. You pull out your phone to call your cousin. It rings for a moment before she picks up. Where the hell have you been? I called you back. I texted you back. I called you back. Or do you know Wayne? <laughs> Or a lot of other things. I met this girl in town. We hit it off. <laughs> That'll be the end of the I conversation. I watched a man die tonight. Um, let's go back up. Let's do the exploration bits first. Just do it called first. I called you back, yeah. I called you back as soon as I had reception. Did you? I didn't notice. Okay. Do you know anyone named Wayne? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. 
I think Wayne's dead. I don't know. I want you um, to man die. Hi, Tabby. I saw horrible things tonight. I want you to leave. I met this girl in town and we hit it off. <laughs> Is that the one you want to go with? Yes. Let's not worry the shit out of our cousin that we nearly almost died tonight. I mean, she'll find out, but, you know, when everyone realizes yeah. that what's-his-name died. Sorry, I met this girl in town, and we wound up really hitting it off. We went on this night hike to find cryptids. Ah, uh, so you met Stella, then. Ugh, that explains everything. And she's gotten you all worked up. Yes, she has. In multiple ways. I'm going Very. to bed. <laughs> I'll collect you tomorrow. Uh, what? <laughs> collect me? Probably from her house. From. I don't care. You don't need to collect me. You could just say I'll come pick you up tomorrow. <laughs> Not collect me. <laughs> no, she has to come and collect you like a bag of, you know goods. From the comfort of Stella's guest bed, the events of the past evening seem like something that happened to someone else. Though you can still clearly picture the terror you felt in those moments, for now, you're safe and warm. I wonder what would happen if we were like, nah, I want to go back, and we just walked back to our house in the middle of the night. Mm. That sounds terrifying. That would have been stupid. Eventually, the sun will rise and chase away the monsters. And make them seem like nothing but bad dreams. Maybe tomorrow, if you're lucky, you'll wake up in the normal world and have a relaxing week in the mountains with a new friend. Oh, it's more than friends. <laughs> it's a nice thought, but deep down, you can't help but worry that things will only get worse. From behind closed doors, you can faintly hear the sounds of quiet sobs. Can I sneak into her room and cuddle her? I think she needs cuddles. It's alright, she has Gretchen. No, oh, I want to cuddle her! <laughs> I don't know, Bailey. You only met her a couple hours ago. I don't care, she deserves cuddles. We've been through something traumatic. <laughs> That's true. Go through trauma together and it immediately skyrockets your relationship. Yes. Here comes the sun. Doo 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 doo. Oh, and oh, the eyes. Eyeball. Here comes the eyes. Ooh, there's the animation. Mm -hmm. Scarlet Hollow Town Hall of 1620. I can't quite tell if that's what that said. Cute little spell books and tea and leaves. So pretty, though. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think that's, um, Reese or whatever. Um, that looks like blood. Yeah, it does. And a door opening. Hey, look. Livestock. I think those are llamas. So, or alpacas. They're one of the two. Oh, and there's eyes in the, the hole. And pumpkins! The pumpkin! Pumpkin. And the mine. I'm telling you, they're Tommy knockers. <laughs> oh, shadow in the background. Mm -hmm. Why is that door locked? It's probably in the forbidden section, as you can see all the claw marks. Mm -hmm. I wonder what happens if we were to have gone into the forbidden wing. Mm -hmm. It's a good question. Multiple playthroughs? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> when we become the lawyer who can see your quick hands. This is the end of episode one. We got Ditchling, uh -oh. Luigi, Ratatouille, and whatever the last one said. Mm -hmm. And I believe that um, I have episode two. Would you like to continue the world stay in episode two? Please save your game now. I will save my game now. On Thursday.
Thursday. That is what today is. Sorry, I went to say Thursday and then there was a weird um, breathy sound in my ears. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm fine with it. Yeah. Um, so we will have to do No, I'm not, I'm not, Why would we need a recap? Like, in case it'd been a minute. Alright. Look at this history. Nice. Alright, so we will... Continue with chapter two on a later date, because it is now time for food, and we've also been here for a minute. We've been here for four and a half hours, yeah. Um, but also, look, we have, like, nine whole pages, so we have options. Nice. And we also just have quick... And autos, apparently. I don't really know. Um, yeah, there's a nice... Um, I do like this. This is really good. And I'm definitely holy fucking gay for Stella. <laughs> you know, so was Gab. <laughs> you know, even though she... want to be. I mean, even though she's dating Jack, she seems to be very gay in these <laughs> games that she plays. Who wouldn't... Who wouldn't? Me, who's not sexually attracted to people. <laughs> well, yeah, that. Well, I'm not sexually attracted. I'm, well, I don't. <laughs> I'm also not. I want to cuddle and kiss her, okay? <laughs> I mean, I'm also not a ghost cryptid person, so. That that one's all she, you. Like, fit, she fits me, like, so goddamn well. I love her. Yeah, I forgot about the. Like, at first I had forgot about it, but then as soon as she mentioned it, I was like, oh, yeah, you're gonna be Gap. <laughs> Yeah, I know a lot about cryptids, spirits, ghosts, paranormal. I just know a lot about paranormal. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm betting these are these are like Tommy Knockers. Oh yeah. At least a a relative of Tommy Knockers. And since this is a mining town and it's and been emphasized a few times that it is a mining town. You know that the scarlets are also Yes. Um, that's on your stream? Yeah, it's okay. Should, okay. Should be okay. Um, should be okay. <laughs> I just wanted to go to the Kickstarter so I could show you some of the stuff that was gonna exist. Oh, okay. Interesting. Cool. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I thought it was really interesting. Um, and I was insane to give you just a little sneak peek the only thing I know about episode two is the thumbnail and title that Gab gave it, which was The Mines. Ooh. So, I'm very interested. Um, I don't know how often the um, episodes will come out, though, um, because, you know, they're still making it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I, I really like the storytelling, and I love, you know, everything about it, in all honesty. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it could be fun to do, um, like, once we've gone through all the episodes, you know, go back with different traits, do weird, yeah. you know, comics. Just be like, no, I'm going to stay in the house all week. <laughs> I'm going to eat PB&J the, the entire yeah, time. Make the, <laughs> make the whole Dead Moms Club uh, thing a thing. High five, Dead Moms. And we're going to, like, laugh at the guy on the bus and be like, yo, you know what's up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I still have no fucking clue what to do with these goddamn peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they'll be useful down in the mines when we get trapped. <laughs> Maybe. Since there's apparently going to be a cave-in. Or something. I mean, that's what Tommy knockers do. Um, they warn of cave-ins. They're natural disaster things. Love that for us. Maybe there will be an earthquake and it will you know, fuck up the mines, but it'll also fuck up the house. I just feel like this house yeah. is going to fall. <laughs> or at least yeah. half of it. Yeah. It's gonna split in half like the Titanic. And the earthquake, or the earthquake, uh, the ground is the, the iceberg. Yeah. <laughs> They've been standing on their arch nemesis the whole time. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Goodbye for today. Goodbye.